Remember when clowns were just cute, cuddly, and funny? <laughs> yeah, neither do we. We don't know if it's their wide grins, red noses, colorful threads, or the fact that they have a tendency to terrify pretty much everyone, but clowns are just, they're just plain freaky, right? And that got us thinking. Welcome back to The Binger, guys, and in today's video, we're going to be ranking the creepiest movie clowns ever. And we will be just focusing on movies today. So any multicolored tears from TV, or a certain fast food chain, perhaps? Well, you're just going to have to take a back seat for this one. Oh, and a bit of viewer discretion is advised here. Like, seriously, if you're easily scared of or have a phobia of clowns, why are you even watching this? This list is basically just the greatest hits of all of your worst nightmares. I mean, you might as well just hire a clown for your next birthday party at this point. Did you say birthday? <laughs> okay, so let's start with a good benchmark setter here. This clown may have only featured briefly in the 2009 movie Zombieland, but it is the epitome of a creepy clown. Colorful clothes, big shoes, and a stupid red nose. And when he gets in the way of our hero and his friends, well, he's gotta be taken out. Oh yeah, and our hero here has a really bad fear of clowns, which just adds to the whole situation. Anyway, it doesn't take long for this guy to clock out. Yep, this iconic Batman baddie just had to have a place on this list, especially with a name like the Clown Prince of Crime. I mean, come on. But what is it about the Joker that makes him so creepy and memorable? Well, he's unpredictable, psychotic, and he wears vibrant purple clothing and face paint. Between Jack Nicholson's and Heath Ledger's take on the character, there's plenty to be terrified of with the Joker. Mainly the unpredictability that we just mentioned. One minute he's dancing around an art gallery or laughing his way through a home video, and the next he's losing his temper. A little fight now. I like that. And in the case of Heath Ledger's Joker, his vague backstory and penchant for close-up face-to-face violence just adds to the eeriness of the character. It takes a lot for a movie character to be just as feared as they are loved, but the Joker, he pulls it off. He takes the look, bag of tricks, and chaotic ideals of a clown and makes them real. The Joker could really exist, and that's what makes him so scary. In fact, if he wasn't so realistic, and therefore probably less creepy to most, he would have been much higher on this list. There's a fine line between horror and comedy, but the 2012 movie Stitches shreds it perfectly. But that's not to say it's not absolutely terrifying. Richard Grindle is cut down during a kid's birthday party thanks to some tied shoelaces. Six years later, he returns to get revenge on the now 16-year-olds who buried him. Like we said, this is a horror comedy, so the violence in it is really over the top and strangely amusing. And it's the incorporation of the stereotypical clown gags that makes Stitches so memorable. Like pulling a rabbit out of a... Uh, um, yeah. Okay, moving on. And things like blowing bubbles from his mouth and firing his hand across the room on a big spring. The comic timing of comedian Ross Noble, who plays the lead role, really helps, of course. And the sporadic, comedic way in which the ultra-violence takes place makes Stitches the clown creepy in a similar way to the Joker. You never know what he's going to do or when. It's not all fun and games, though. Some of the violence in the movie is just wrong. So next time you think about playing a prank on a clown, just don't. Go. Get out of the house. Like, run. Seriously. But not into the woods. That's a classic horror movie mistake. <sighs> oh. In this anthology horror movie, there's a few different stories intertwining with each other, but the creepy highlight is the story of Tabitha. Tabitha is a babysitter who finds a room full of scary clown toys, one of which is a life-size doll. Hilarity ensues, as you might expect. Not only does the owner of the house know nothing about the doll, but it doesn't take long for it to go missing and stalk Tabitha and the kids that she's looking after. We don't know if it's the idea of a giant clown toy attacking someone with its emotionless face and fluffy hair, or the cat and mouse chase around the house, but this movie, it's just pure nightmare fuel. 
Much of the creepiness from the clown comes down to what we don't see. Shadows on the walls, moonlight cascading over half of its face. It's a seemingly never-ending pursuit from a terrifying life-size clown doll while you're stuck inside a house. No thank you. You know sometimes when you're not sure why something is creepy but you're scared of it anyway? Yeah, the clowns from this movie are exactly like that. On the surface, they're just goofy looking, mildly weird dummies. But as the movie goes on and you see their devastating and strange methods of taking people out, you start to think, heck, I'm actually terrified here. Whether they're wrapping their victims in cotton candy cocoons, which they later eat by the way, making snacks out of people by shrinking them down to ant size, or punching someone's head clean off their body, you can't take your eyes off these guys for a second. Oh yeah, and they're actually aliens who are trying to take over the world. You know, like the evil clown thing wasn't bad enough. By today's desensitized Hollywood CGI standards, they might look a bit corny, but we think it's their cheap and cheerful look that makes them so terrifying. Their faces are kind of like molded clay with a slight smirk constantly stricken across them. Well, that's cotton candy ruined forever anyway. So, a lot of clowns on today's list have super unique backstories and agendas that add to their terror. And that is certainly the case with Art the Clown. I mean, he basically lives inside a VHS tape and haunts people. But aside to his backstory, Art the Clown is just horror personified. I mean, look at him. He doesn't have the most vibrant costume. In fact, it goes to the complete opposite. He sports a black and white getup, a tiny little hat, fingerless gloves, and a spine tingling black smile. We don't know what it is. Maybe it's his long nose, or the fact that we can't quite make out his facial expressions because of his dark face paint. Another reason that Art is so scary is because the whole movie is low budget. When we see him sat on the sofa in the TV screen, it looks like he could be in the room with us. And this moment of breaking the fourth wall in this movie also adds to why he's so scary. He could come out of your screen at any moment, even now when you're watching. And of course, if his eerie presence wasn't enough, Art the Clown is super, super violent. Ever wanted to see a clown version of the movie The Fly, where a guy turns into a real-life monster clown? Well, if you said no, then too bad. You got it. The appropriately named movie Clown follows a dad who fills in as a clown for his son's birthday, dressing in a suit he finds in an old basement. It doesn't take long before this suit starts to take over him. The red nose won't come off. His hair permanently turns multicolored. Unlike other clowns on this list, the charm, if you want to call it that, to Frowny the Clown is the journey that he goes on and the way he deteriorates along the way. And when watching, we can't help but picture our own loved ones going through a similar frightening transformation. And it's his slowly shifting behavior that makes the hairs stand up on the back of your neck. His voice goes deeper and he starts to see his own family as food. What we get in the end is less of a clown and more of a demon. In fact, the idea of the movie is based around the clown suit being made out of the skin of an ancient demon called the clown. But that's another story for another time. We've all met a Captain Spaulding character before, right? The kind of guy where you're not sure if he's overly friendly and smiley or actually just a psychopath. First appearing in House of a Thousand Corpses and later in The Devil's Rejects, Sid Haig's Captain Spaulding is perhaps the most intimidating clown on today's list. Owner of a gas station and the tourist attraction, the Museum of Monsters and Mad Men, he targets passers-by who come snooping. If his menacing stature and rudimentary face paint weren't enough to scare you, then maybe his yellow tooth smile would be, and the way it can very quickly sink to a cold stare. Not only is Captain Spaulding super intimidating, but he and his family are a real force to be reckoned with. They take passers-by and induct them into their museum, and it ain't a pretty sight. The main reason Captain Spaulding is so intense and creepy is because of his realism. He's just a normal guy. Well, normal-ish? Anyone can put on a bit of clown face paint and pretend to be polite. Just be wary of said guy if you're in the middle of nowhere in a weird museum. 
You know that stuffed toy you've had in your bedroom for years and you just can't seem to part with it? Well, it's definitely going to come alive in the middle of the night and attack you. Or at least that's what the movie Poltergeist would suggest. In a house filled with mischievous ghosts, you can't trust anyone or anything, including that clown doll that keeps staring at you from across the room. The worst thing here is that the kid knows the doll is up to no good, and the reason this creeps us out so much is that we have all been in the same position. All those times you thought you were being paranoid about someone or something watching you while you were asleep? Oh, it's all true. Every bit of it. And the clown itself is freaky anyway. Long, dangly legs, a little bell on its hat. Eesh. It's still okay to stay in your mom and dad's room when you're an adult, right? Ah yes, the piece de resistance of creepy clowns. For many of us, Pennywise is the main, if not the only reason that we're afraid of clowns today. We know It from the 90s was technically a miniseries, but we can't not mention Tim Curry's portrayal of the nightmare-inducing Pennywise here. But the real question is, why is Pennywise so scary? Well, first of all, he feeds primarily on children, and only a few people can see him. So so if you think that you're safe when others are around, guess again. He can get you whenever, wherever, no matter how crowded it is. Also, although his clown form is pretty creepy, Pennywise feeds off your fear. So he'll morph into whatever you're afraid of the most. Because as Pennywise says, You all taste so much better when you're afraid. I mean seriously, a clown that knows your deepest, darkest fears and can pop up anywhere at any time? He makes the other clowns on this list look hilarious. And as he's played two very different ways by Tim Curry and Bill Skarsgård, Pennywise has you covered on the fear side of things in every direction. Curry's Pennywise plays on the humorous, traditional look of a clown beep beeping his way into scaring you. Skarsgård, on the other hand, is just plain old terrifying, with his pouty smile and domed head. Either way, they remind us of why clowns will forever be creepy and should be avoided at all costs. See you in your dreams. Oh, come back anytime. So there you have it, cinema's creepiest clowns. But which do you think was the scariest? Did we miss any of your childhood nightmares? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Binger YouTube channel for more awesome videos like this one. See you next time.